I want to share a tragedy, the story of a young athlete. On November 20, 1995, a 20-year-old hockey player, Travis Rye, played 11 seconds before he crashed into the boards as he was skating with his opponent in the ring. It was his first and last ever game playing in Boston University ice hockey team. Even though hockey was his passion, he is paralyzed from the neck down for the rest of his life. Based on an interview published on YouTube on November 2012, Travis Coach says, when I first met Travis in the hospital, he asked me for a favor, to scratch his nose. It's pathetic when you cannot scratch your own nose. On the same video, Travis says, I wish I would be able to walk again one day. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been in a wheelchair? If you have been, you might know how hard it is not walking like so many other people. According to the New York Times article, a study raises estimate of paralyzed Americans, published by Johnny Karen on April uh, 20, 2009. Approximately 5.6 million people are paralyzed in the U.S. caused by different accidents and diseases. Imagine if everybody could walk, you would have, you would have no friend with, who, had, who would need sympathy. Dreams can come true. Yushiyuki Sankai, a Japanese professor at Tsukuba University, has been fascinated with robots since his childhood. Professor Sankai has, been devel has developed a robot called the Hybrid Assisted Limb, which is, known as, which is also known as Robot Suhao. Professor Sankai is not the one who invented uh, exoskeleton robot, but he had worked for three years, starting in 2009, to discover the sensors that sit on top of a uh, person's thighs. This robot has been designed to support people with physical disabilities. Uh, people's uh, reactions was positive towards Senkai's invention. In 2012, Ifumi Kufushima, who had been paralyzed for the past five years, worn the robot to how and walked smoothly and he said when I go upstairs I'm surprised that I can lift my feet this way <coughs> probably have forgotten how to walk um, this robot is only 10 pounds because the, the skeletons are just one by five inches made of plastic and metal it starts with a pair of compact shoes and goes all the way to the hips, to the person's waist. Uh, it has two joints in the ankle areas, two around the knees, and two joints on the hips. Four bill strap the exoskeleton to the person's uh, legs. A compact battery is strapped to the person's waist to power the robot. Uh, there are two primary version of uh, this robot in three different sizes available in markets. One of them assists four limbs and the other one just work as an exoskeleton around the legs. A person with a robot suit haul can easily lift up 60 kilograms. This is why it can be helpful for elders or person with physically demanding jobs. If you work in a, in a construction company, let the technology help you and lift heavy things for you. The Ruba suit hull is more compact than Iron Man suit, but it does not carry a weapon with it. Let's see how it works. NHK News broadcasted a video in July 2012. According to the video, when a person with the Ruba suit hull tries to move his legs, an electrical impulse flows from his brain to his legs. The sensors on humans uh, on humans' legs detect the signal and send a command to the robot to help to move the legs muscles. It means when when you think to move your legs, the robot starts smoothly assisting your legs. A hospital in Yamaguchi, Western Japan, rents the robot suit hall 
for $2,000 a month. This robot has received many certificates, including the ISO certificate, which is given for standardization and quality of a product or an organization. This uh, robot also has passed many tests in front of media and qualified to be in the Europe markets. There is no big disadvantage about this product, but it can make us lazy as other technologists do. The bright si on the bright side, this product can fulfill Travis Rice's dreams of walking. <laughs>